okay so now we'll see how will be the electric field due to a point charge at a point on its equatorial not due to a point charge due to a dipole electric field due to a dipole at a point on its equatorial line ab is a dipole let plus q be at b and minus q be at a charge let r be the distance between the center of the dipole and the point p and ob and oa is d first we will calculate separately how will be the electric field due to the two point charges q1 q1 plus q1 minus q due to the charge plus q this electric field will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon not q by root of d square plus r square see our this distance bp is calculated if i take this triangle right angle triangle o b p so this distance is r this is d by pythagoras theorem i can easily calculate bp square is equal to ob square plus op square so this is equal to d square plus r square here bp is equal to root of d square plus r square so that is why we have written bp square equal to root of d square if it is bp it is root of if it is bp square it will be d square plus r square so here i will be getting q by d square plus r square here also d square plus r square if you see the direction of these two electric field first e1 will be along bp since it is path q the lines of force will be pointing away since here it is negative the lines of force will be pointing towards so here e1 is along bp and e2 is along pe now if you see these two electric fields they are equal in magnitude but their direction the direction is different e1 is along bp and e2 is along pe so what i will do to find out the resultant electric field first i will resolve this electric field into two components one along the x axis and one along the y axis now e1 is resolved into two one x and along the x axis that is e1 cos theta and along the y axis it is e1 sin theta similarly you resolve this e2 also along x axis as e2 cos theta and along y axis as e2 sin theta this e1 sin theta and e2 sin theta are equal in magnitude but they will be acting in opposite direction so they cancel each other now this cos theta component will be along the direction pr and these two components will be added up now the resultant electric field is given by e equal to e1 cos theta plus e2 cos theta so how i can write the resultant electric field it is given by e1 cos theta plus e2 cos theta first we have calculated separately then resultant we know that e1 is equal to e2 e1 is equal to e2 so i can write either this or this in the place of e1 now i want to find out what is cos theta so what is e1 cos theta plus e2 cos theta either i put e1 or e2 since both are same i can write this as e1 cos theta plus e1 cos theta so it will be 2 e1 cos theta now we know this e1 this value is 1 by 4 pi epsilon r cube by d square plus r square now we want to find out what is cos theta let this angle be theta so how to find out this cos theta from this equation it is given by cos theta equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse so i can write this cos theta as d by root of hypotenuse is d square plus r square so substituting the values of e1 and cos theta in this equation it will become 2 e1 is this value that is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by d square plus r square this is your e value e1 value into cos theta it is nothing but d by root of d square plus r square now adding these two i can write this resultant electric field as 2 qd by 4 pi epsilon naught what is d square plus r square into root of d square plus r square this i can write as 
d square plus r square power is 1. I can write this root of d square plus r square as whole power 1 by 2. If you have basis C, if you add the power 1 plus 1 by 2, it will become 3 by 2. So, here I can write d square plus r, r square whole power 3 by 2. So, this will be the resultant electric field due to the dipole at a point on its equatorial line. Now, if this point P lies very very far away from the center of the dipole, what happens to this distance R when compared to this distance D? If the point P lies far away, then I can say this distance R will be very very greater when compared to D. So, in this condition, I can neglect this D when compared to R square. So, what happens when I neglect this D when compared to this R square in the denominator? It will be E equal to 2 Q D by 4 pi epsilon naught. Here d square it gets cancelled because this value is very very less when compared to r. So, if this value is 1000 meter, if this value is only 2 centimeter, no, no, if I add this value it will have to know that much it does not give that much importance if I by adding this low value with a very high value. So, I can neglect when compared to this r. So, here I will be getting only r cube that is 2 q d by 4 pi epsilon naught r cube. So, here we know that what is this? 2 into 2D this is nothing but your dipole moment P. I can write this as P by 4 pi epsilon naught R cube. This gives you the electric field due to a dipole at a point on its equatorial line. Now we want to find out in which direction this resultant electric field E equal to P by 4 pi epsilon naught R cube will be acting. So, this it will be acting along PR since here this both the cos theta components will be added along this direction only that is E1 and E2 cos theta. So, the direction will be along PR. So, if you see the resultant electric field at a point on its equatorial line it will be along PR. Then if you see the direction of the dipole moment it is along a, B that is from minus Q to plus Q it will be the direction of your dipole moment. So, in this case the electric field will be parallel both these two are parallel to each other which one this dipole axis of the dipole and this electric the resultant electric field both will be parallel to each other this is your P and this is your resultant electric field P R this is minus Q to plus Q. These two are parallel to each other, but see here they are acting in the opposite direction. So, the resultant electric field due to a dipole at a point on its equatorial line will be parallel to the dipole moment, parallel and opposite to the direction of the dipole moment. So, here you have to write it, write the direction of this electric field specifically. It is very important. So, how will be the direction of the electric field? It will be parallel and opposite to the direction of the dipole moment. The electric field will be acting in this direction, dipole moment will be acting in the opposite direction. But for electric field due to a dipole at a point on its axial line, what is the formula? It is given by 2 p by 4 pi epsilon naught r cube. But for the electric field due to a dipole at a point is equatorial line is P by 4 pi epsilon naught R cube which is greater this one or this one. Due to the axial line it is twice this. So, I can write this as E equatorial that is electric field the point in its equatorial line is twice. What is this P by 4 pi epsilon naught R cube? It is nothing but your E equatorial. So, I can write this, I can compare these two and I can write E axis is equal to twice that of the electric field due to equatorial. Which one will be greater? 
the electric field at a point on its axial line will be greater than the electric field at a point on its equatorial. So, these two formulas and this one is <coughs> very important. Now, in this, I will give you some problems. You see the problem, exercise problem, first three. See the problems first, three problems. Exercise problem. Tell me, sir. What to do? <laughs> 